Now in this video I'm going to use inspiration mind mapping software to write an essay, report or assignment and in order to do that we're going to click on map and here you have the main map website so on the first page you have the, the central theme this will be the name of your assignment or your essay or your report and each branch represents any thought or idea that you have in relation to the central theme so in this particular instance I'm going to give an example of writing say an essay for college and assistive technology assignment so let's assume a lecturer came along and stated I want you to write up an assignment that would entail assistive technology so what I would do is instead of writing with a blank page I would use the mind mapping software to help me write up the essay or assignment so here we go the central idea is going to be the title of the essay caps on assistive technology assignment and then you would have you would input into each branch any thought or idea that you have in relation to that assignment so in the context of me writing out an essay or an assignment you're always going to have a pattern with each essay and assignment you're always going to have an introduction cap introduction so I'm thinking out loud now as if I was writing at home and um, in terms of introduction okay what else could I talk about I guess I was at the CIT today and I was given a presentation in assistive technologies so I guess the next branch could be if technologies available in the CIT caps on technologies available in the CIT okay so what technologies did I learn about today hmm dragon naturally speaking read write gold cap that mind manager inspiration cap that okay so my next task would be to let me just delete this here my next task would be to follow through with that so what else would I want to talk about in terms of my uh, final essay let me see um, I suppose I was taught about the benefits of the technologies caps on benefits of assistive technologies and I guess in terms of the benefits of assistive technologies increases student performance cap that reduces the time to write up essays cap that now I've highlighted something here that is important it's important to keep each branch name nice and concise too much information will lead to not a nice branch and it will be more difficult for the person to read so I'm going to change this to reducing time caps on reduces time the key thing here is to make sure that the branches are small concise a little tip would be to use a lot of nouns as opposed to verbs and adverbs and so on and so forth so just stick to nouns or something thereabouts uh, I guess let's move on with the next uh, next part of the assignment um, let me see mm, um, cap conclusions cap bibliography okay looking back at introduction what am I going to talk about in terms of introduction caps on a history of assistive technology so one of the challenges that people face in terms of writing up reports essays and assignments is trying to structure the the document the mind map is excellent to enable you to write out and structure without having to put in structure into your your assignment or your essay and you can go back and follow through with that so in this particular instance I've written up the structure I'm happy with it I'm happy with the way it's branched out 
the next thing I want to do is I want to add on the content. So for instance in the introduction I'm going to click on the introduction branch I go up to note, I press that I go back down to my introduction and I start talking about the assistive technology assignment and so on and so forth. So for the purposes of this demonstration I'm going to fill it up with jargon but the purpose of this assistive technology assignment is to outline the various technologies that are available for students in the CIT full stop. These technologies would be wide and diverse full stop. I will then be outlining the benefits of assistive technologies in the context of academic performance full stop. I will then outline my conclusions in relation to assistive technologies. Now again I don't want you to focus on the the content it's just the the function of the mind map and what you can do with it. So again I'm going into the branch here for the technologies available in the CIT. I go back up I add in my notes the technologies available in the CIT in relation to assistive technologies are quite wide and diverse. Full stop. These would include dictation software like Dragon Naturally Speaking, comma, narration software like Read Write Gold, comma, and mind mapping software like Mind Manager and Inspiration. The following subsections will outline in detail these particular technologies. Full stop. Dragon Naturally Speaking is the market leader in relation to dictation technology, full stop. It seamlessly enables you to write up essays, comma, reports and assignments three times faster than typing. So now I just press the X, I close down the, the notes that I've added. If you want to open it up again, it's just at the top right hand corner of the branch. You press on it and there it's opened again. So I'm quite happy now with the overall scheme of things. I can continue on and to f work through the rest of my mind map, but at this stage I'm going to just see what the output will look like in Microsoft Word. So the function is to go to File. Well, before I do File, I want to see what it's going to look like first. So I press on the Outline button, and here we have an outline of what my document will look like in Microsoft Word. So it includes the heading, and each of the branches now have been created into a chapter and each of the sub-branches are created into subsections of the chapter. So it's much more easier to write up that essay and assignment quickly. As I can, I'm looking through this here and I can see that conclusions is the second chapter. So I'm not happy with that. So I want to bring this down to the end. So I just left click, I drag down that and wherever the red dot is that's where I'm aiming for and if I'm happy to place my new section there, my new chapter there, I let go and let me see, bibliography would be below the, con the conclusions so again I would drag that down I would have it under the same as conclusions, the same site, same type benefits of technology, technologies available in the CAT I'm happy with all of that so I'm just going to hide the notes for the moment and I'm going to focus on formatting. So for the heading I'm going to change the size, the font size to 24. It changes that. For chapters 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 I'm going to go down again and change the font size to 18. And now it's coming along nicely. It's looking much more like a Word document. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the numeral numericals. So I go down here to the change prefix labels. I press that. I'm going to change it to legal. Now I'm happy with the overall layout of my document. I press file, export. Now in this section you can see it gives you a preview of what it would look like in Microsoft Word. I'm going to remove the map, probably useful in primary and secondary school, but when you come to third level or beyond you don't really need it so it removes that. Indentation, very important. I'm going to put indentation into my document. I'm happy with everything. The file format is Microsoft Word. 
that's provided you have Microsoft Word on your computer and uh, press save save to the desktop and while I'm here I'm going to also export to PowerPoint so I go down export PowerPoint same principle again save it to the desktop now as you can see all of the work you've done so far is in the mind mapping software the easiest part is to export to the PowerPoint slides or to the Microsoft Word so in this particular instance inspiration gives me the option of choosing different background templates So I'm going to choose an arbitrary template I press OK and let's see the end result so for the assistive technology report here we have a written up document and it's looking very well as a first draft so again in order to continue on with the essay you have something to start on you know where you're going you have structure and um, you could continue on to do the essay through the inspiration software or you could continue on through the with the Microsoft Word template that you've created again let's have a look at the assistive technology PowerPoint slide and here we have the PowerPoint slide and it's again much more faster to write up your essays and PowerPoint slides so thank you for watching